Hi everyone, I am Advocate Akhil Solanki, associate with Lexus and Company. So in this video, we are going to discuss sick companies and debt recovery under IBC and other legislation. In India, the Insolvency and Bank Bankruptcy Code was introduced in 2016 to address the issue of sick companies and debt recovery. The IBC aims to provide a timely and efficient mechanism for the resolution of corporate insolvency, which maximizes the value of assets, balances the interests of all stakeholders, and promotes entrepreneurship. Under the IBC, when a company defaults on its debt, a resolution process is initiated. So, under the IBC, when a company defaults on its debt, a resolution process is initiated which involves the appointment of an insolvency professional to take control of the company's assets and formulate a resolution plan. The plan can result in either the revival of the company or the sale of its assets to recover the debt. If the plan is approved by the creditors, it is implemented and the company is revived. If the plan is not approved, the company is liquidated and the proceeds uh, are used to repay the creditors. So, in addition to the IBC, there are other laws and regulations in India that deal with debt recovery such as Recovery of Debt Due to Banks and Financial Institution Act, DRT Acts and the uh, Securitization of Reconstruction of Financial Assets and Enforcement of Security Interest Act. So, these laws provide banks and financial institutions with the power to recover their debts without going through the courts. So overall the IBC and other debt recovery law in India aim to provide a transparent, efficient and predictable mechanism for the resolution of corporate insolvency and the recovery of debt. So thank you. See you in next video with some more information.